Salutations and greetings, you awesome people. This is Wolf Kaiser Aurea, and lately I've been mostly playing games. Mostly J Star Victory Versus is a, a new one that I decided to get. It was, for, it was for the 50th anniversary of Shooting Jump, who did like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Toriko, One Piece, uh, those sorts of anime. So I played it, and it's actually really quite fun. I was hoping that this would be more of an outside world that um that all these challenges can be quite hard and plus uh, it nearly felt a little bit Final Fantasy without the se without the Sephiroth character appears. Um and also I clock Batman Arkham Knight. I'm not gonna bring any spoilers, but the ending, man. You should play the game to be able to know what the ending was. Well, the only thing I will tell you is how it mainly start the game. Pretty much you just get a cut scene of, um, of, uh, Joker's corpse, just mainly from, from eye, and then slowly the camera pans outward. He's still smiling in his forever sleep. I may call it, or I like call it the internal slumber. And then y you can be able to press X button, the X button, to incinerate or ignite. He's in those um, uh, in uh, incinerator mach machine they uses um, when someone's gonna be. What's the word to describe it? when they burn you and turn you, turn you into ashes and put you into a new urn. My cat just walked in. I do apologize for that one. Um, and then the first dialogue you hear from that one is and this is how Batman died. The first thing you just figure out is wait, Batman was the Joker or Joker was the Batman? Either way, this is actually came after Batman had killed the Joker by having the the last serum for uh, an antivirus to stop the Joker's venom inside of him that he contaminated with Bane's Titan formula. So yeah. Pretty much, I got the special edition that got me Harley Quinn's gameplay as well as um, download, downloadable contents of both the the Batmobile and the uh, the bat suits. So yeah, I got all that. It's actually really good, and you can even see some of the characters that you may see from the anime series that you have not known on the video game genre. So yeah, and uh something has came up towards me. Scarecrow looks more scarier than he was in I think Arkham Asylum when he starts playing mind games with Bruce, aka Batman. Yeah, I call him Batman instead of the American turn Batman. Yeah, I'm a strain. Hello or should I say, G'day, mate. God damn it, power saver. Um, yeah, but also, one thing has came up outside the video game world. Apparently, a lot of people have been asking Siri, who's like, um, uh, someone who can have a chat to or get information from, from, uh, your mobile phone or smartphone, depending on what model you have. And they've been asking Siri, what zero divided by zero? So, I'm pretty much gonna give that a try on mine. Um, okay, just put the volume on. And I'll, I'll bring it close towards the screen. Hang on, I'll just hold it up in this form. What's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. 
How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Okay, when I first tried this out on this going, okay, so he just became a hater and a troller. So, it's pretty much the same thing when you put in zero divided by zero on the calculator, it just says error. So it's non and void, as some people may say. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why someone decided to give Siri that form of a, a metaphor. Uh, 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 a sentence or an abbreviation to something that doesn't need to make sense anyway. And even mentioning, mentoring the Cookie Monster and no friends. Um... Don't worry, that's just me clapping onto the desk. I uh, don't mean clapping, I just mean like uh, hitting it with my fingernails. So, yeah, just try it out for yourself if you want to, but don't get too personal over your theory or other voice over uh, translator. These things can be quite dangerous, you know. brings me to a lot of thinking if you have noticed something else. Since when does Siri actually acted like a, a emo version of Mary Poppins? Maybe from the company. Or maybe this came from the script that she made herself just so that there, sub there can be positivity but there also could be negativity. That would make sense if you think about it. So, yeah, this is just mainly a quick video of what I've been doing. Yay, I'm entertaining. I'm also boring. Hey. God damn it. Good day. Maybe I should put that in a little bit more Aussie phlegm. Damn it. It's not just how they say it. But how low and deep they can do it. Probably that's why Australian accent is becoming a lot more popular than how the French accent was the the language of love. So the Australian accent is the voice of the language of you. Be the judge about it. I I can't think of anything at the moment. But so yeah, if you. If you have an abbreviation to what is the Australian accent, the language of, in your form of description and option. So, yeah, this is, this is Wolf Kaiser Aurea, and this saying, hey, it's always good to be happy, but sometimes a lot of pain can happen. But you think over that pain, and then you start being happy all over again. Adios.